hi and welcome let's quickly produce this super powerful bleach but before we dive into the production here are the necessary safety precautions you must take while producing this bleach keep all chemicals away from the reach of children do not make preparations near naked flame or fire avoid direct contact of chemicals with the skin or eyes do not taste any chemical the first chemical we need is chlorine chlorine is in a very white sharp color and it also has tiny 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 crystals in it just as you can see so the next chemical is caustic soda caustic soda looks exactly like sugar and um, you know it's also in white color another one is soda ash this is also in white color and um, mentor mentor is totally totally optional i'm just using mentor in this production because you know to kind of get rid of that very sharp smell bleach as then let's go over the quantity of materials needed for this production chlorine 300 grams soda ash 250 grams caustic soda 250 grams mentol 25 grams water seven to ten liters depending on how strong you want your bleach to come out before you start production ensure to put on your gloves and also use nose mask okay so um i added about five liters of water into an empty bowl a clean empty bowl and ensure your water is clean as well so in no particular order you are going to start adding the four chemicals you do not have to follow the way i have done mine you can add your caustic soda first then you know add the other one first so in this case if your chemical is like this just add it to the water like that because it's really just going to dissolve you don't have to crush the stones or you know before adding it I have added all chemicals apart from the menthol. In this menthol, you can decide to crush it and make uh, turn it into a powder, powdered form, but you really do not have to do that. Just add it to the water and then you stir for a very long time after adding the four chemicals into your water. So then I added about two liters of water again that makes it seven liters of water i want this production this bleach to be so so strong then you stir for a very very long time and then we are going to leave it for about two days i suggest you leave it for two days just for the chemical to release its you know strength into the bleach so this is it after two days i'm just going to go ahead and decant the bleach from the um, residue. You decant as much as you can because you are still going to leave the, I'm still going to leave the bleach in the bucket to settle for a while for like, you know, for a few hours until I decant again, you know, just sieve out the the bleach from the um crystal the settled crystals if that makes sense this is what it looks like we are not done yet you just you still have to wait for it for a few hours for it to you know settle and then you decant again So I'm going to pour the rest of the I um the rest of the bleach into another bowl just for it to settle, you know. I don't want to waste anything. And um that is it. This residue or at the bottom of the bleach can be used as film or what do I call it? You can use it as um abrasive to wash the back of your pot. This works, you know, excellently. I'm just going to set the bleach aside for it to, you know, settle before I decant again. That's it. Use this for the back of your pot and you'll be fine. So the next step is, this is what it looks like after a few hours. I left it for about three hours. Yeah. 
so this is what it looks like i'm just going to you know sieve sieve the that is the bleach you are looking at at the top of the you know bucket i'm just going to sieve it out into another container So then I'm going to sieve it out into another um, white, into this white container. Just know that when you're producing bleach, you have to be very, very patient because, you know, you know, after you decant, you have to wait for the residue to, you know, settle. Then you decant again, you wait and, you know, you just continue like that until you do not have any bleach to sieve out again. So I'm um, right here, I'm just basically, you know, sieving out the, the bleach from the residue. Now we have this. Then I have this also. Obviously, I cannot add this to the bleach in the white bucket and um i have this as well so i'm just going to pour everything together and allow and wait for it to you know um settle then i decant again you understand you may if that makes sense so i'm just going to set that aside and deal with the bleach i have this is what the bleach looks like i did at this point you should have your nose mask on please because the the um strong smell that is coming out from this bleach can make you puke so please ensure you have your nose mask so i'm trying to just partition my bleach into containers and then i'm going to show you different containers you can use to package your product if you are producing this bleach for you know commercial purpose so there there you have um uh one container just ensure you use an opaque use opaque containers don't use transparent containers that will you know um affect the the quality of your product so you can use this one you can use this head they are basically opaque containers with different heads that one has um the spray mount this can be used for the in the toilet this has the open and closed mouth i don't know what they call this mouth so you can basically use any of this to package your product any of this um opaque containers and you know covers to package your product so now let's go ahead and test the efficiency of our product this towel is dirty so i'm just going to add water throw it into the bowl and i'm going to add water and then i add a tiny tiny bleach just for you to know how effective this bleach or how strong this bleach is i'm going to leave to soak for about you know 15 minutes so then i'm going to add this our popular liquid soap if you do not know this liquid soap on this youtube channel i'll leave a uh, you know link at the end of this video for you to watch this particular tutorial so then i added few drops just like two to three drops and then i washed the towel and this is what it looks like after washing it is still wet i'm still going to wait for it to dry you know just to for the purpose of, the, of this video and that is it thank you so much guys for watching do not forget to subscribe like and share these videos to your loved ones you might be helping someone and um see you in my next video bye for now